Hi, um, this is um, Kim with another segment of the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. I'm doing a solo today. Uh, I have family in West Texas, so I have a lot of concerns. I've been talking to them all week. Um, we have a ranch there. Um, it was in dire straits. Uh, we had no electric. We, there was no such thing as rolling blackouts. It was total blackout. No electric. Um, houses were, our houses were 32 degrees with fireplaces going. Um, people have no idea what was really going on down there because your media isn't telling you. Um, there's no water. The city of Big Springs, currently, the water treatment plant went down. The water where they purify it went down. Um, water is at a premium still to this point. Um, livestock across the county has been lost because they froze to death. Um, my kids lived in pickup trucks from Sunday to Wednesday because there was no heat. There were no shelters open because there was nobody with electric for any length of time. People have froze to death in their homes and they're still finding people froze to death. I'm furious. I'm furious at our government, our federal government, and something needs to be done. Joe Biden, Dementia Joe, has decided that West Texas doesn't deserve individual help out there. He only has helped the inner cities um, as far as emergency declarations. This is ridiculous. The people of West Texas deserve it as much as anyone else. Luckily, luckily, the people of West Texas are resilient and they will survive, but they will have difficulties. Um, locally, everybody is helping everybody out. There's no food in the stores, very little food. You guys have no idea of what's going on down there. Um, water wells were out, frozen, pipes, all the pipes cracked. There were houses, literally, with water from the ceilings. You say, why is there water coming from the ceilings? The pipes in Texas very often are run in the ceilings. Houses are built on slabs. Houses are built very differently. The other thing I'm furious about is watching Facebook. I'm currently in Facebook jail because of watching liberals with their hate for Texans. You know what? Have some compassion here. Grow up, put your big boy pants on, and help a fellow citizen. I am sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of the crap that these liberals are saying stuff like, we wish all Texans would die. We thought Texans could survive on their own. Well, you know what? Texans do a pretty good job, but you know what? Texans pay a hell of a lot of money in taxes also. They deserve as much help as the hurricane relief people do and the people in California. I'm hot, I'm mad, and I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. Joe Biden needs to give assistance, emergency assistance, to West Texas. The number to call for the White House, and I beg you call the White House, 202-456-1111. Call them. Demand individualized health emergency declaration for the people of West Texas. One county, one county, Scurry County, was given emergency assistance. Interestingly enough, why would Scurry County be given emergency assistance? Amazon has a huge wind farm in Scurry County. Could that be it? Could be. Um, the counties he did give individualized emergency assistance for are all around the big cities, the Democrat voting cities. Um, hey here, you know, people need help regardless of whether they're Democrat or Republican. And I never have seen this done during the hurricanes or the fires or anything else. Um, like I said, it, it's a mess down there. These people need help. They have no drinkable water. They have no water coming in. Well, you're hearing on the mainstream media, FEMA's gone in with water. They've gone into the cities, the big cities, not into West Texas. Um, you're hearing the National Guard has gone in, not into West Texas. They're going into Austin, Dallas, Houston, and San Antonio. 
Now, I don't behold, you know, begrudge them getting help whatsoever. They deserve help also. But so do other counties in this in that state. That whole the state needs to be considered a disaster at this time. Like I said, my boys lived in a truck, the only heat that they could get. Do you know where they went to the bathroom? Outside, there's no toilets, frozen toilets. Um, my son has children. His children slept in a truck. His dogs slept in a truck. How many of you guys can say you slept in a truck for three or four days to survive? Because that's what it was. It was at survival mode only. Luckily, we had some freeze-dried food. Otherwise, they may not have eaten. So, you know what? I want you guys to understand, and I want you guys to please call the White House. Tell them that the people of West Texas need help. And not to ignore them and and send the, the aid in to help them also. Again, the number is 202-456-1111. Um, and I guess I'm through with my rant. I'm really furious. I'm furious that a president would ignore people and would allow people to die under his watch because of political agendas. Be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me.